thank you so much for everything that you have done for us since the day we came to the United States. You are now our mothers and our fathers here in the United States. And it's really touching that today is two years since my classmate is still missing. Mm. And when I see myself here getting education, my life has changed completely. I just feel like, what about those girls that are in the captivity? What if they're here today? They will be someone who we've never expected they will be. And yesterday, when I saw the video of my classmates, 15 of them that they're still alive, I was so touched immediately when I saw the video. I started crying and I just wish I can talk to them. I just wish they can hear me. I just wish I can tell them how much we miss them. Let's not give up. No, Let's not forget about these girls. Let's keep praying for them. Mm -hmm. We all have to join hands and do it together. One person or two people cannot do it. This is an anniversary that none of us thought that we would have to mark because we thought by now we would have found the Shibok girls and they would have been returned to their homes, to their parents, and we would just be fighting Boko Haram. In fact, the remnants of Boko Haram. But we find ourselves now in a precarious situation where we're honoring or mourning or hoping for more than 200 girls, well, let's say 179 who we know of are still missing. 